Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today it is Christmas Day. I've got an extra special treat for today. I'm going to be opening up one of the gifts I received. Normally when a new Magic the Gathering set comes out, I do a set review based upon the bundle. But since Wizards decided to put two fall winter releases toward the end of the year, that threw things out of whack. So I won't be doing the bundle. After the bundle, I typically do a box review, whether that's a draft box or a set booster box. But once again, I won't be doing this quite yet because of the change in release schedule with two fall winter sets. So what does that mean? Well, there's the gift bundle. Today I'll be cracking open the entire gift bundle and then I'll work backwards. My next review video will be the regular bundle. And then after that, I'll do the set booster box. This will be my fourth gift bundle that I've cracked. I've cracked the Throne of Eldraine gift bundle. Yielded pretty good results. Cracked the Zendikar Rising gift bundle last Christmas. And it was a little bit of a downer. Not great results. And then earlier this summer, I cracked the Adventures in Forgotten Realms Dungeons and Dragons gift bundle, and it did pretty well. All right, outside art, we've got Olivia Valderin getting ready for her wedding. The gift bundle, a little bit different than the regular bundle. It's going to come with pretty much the same stuff as the regular bundle, except in the gift bundle, you get one of the Crimson Val Collector boosters. So I'll get to cracking this gift bundle open. Hopefully everybody's having a really good holiday. And if you're a magic player, hopefully you're doing some fun magic openings as well. All right, got the plastic wrap off. I'm not gonna spend any time on this piece of garbage. Take a look first at the inside part. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can RSVP for Olivia's wedding. If you're human like most of us, that's gonna be troublesome because you'll either end up as food or by invitation only. Not getting an invite, you'll get burned up. And then the binding vows of Olivia Voldaren and Edgar Markov. I like these, these are pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at the inside art. And there you go, Olivia Voldaren in all of her splendor. What a bride. Any fellow would be lucky to have Olivia. Okay, take a look at the shiny box. I like the outside box quite a bit. Um, it's got kind of a nice foiling look to it. All right, inside the bundle, get the oversized die. This is really awesome. It's red, see-through with, it looks like flecks of blood. How fitting. All right, lucky seven. Nope, 11. 7 not bad. Within the bundle comes the promo foil card. This one, Cigar to Summons. I don't think it has much in the way of value. Behind Cigar to Summon is all the foil lands and then the regular lands from Crimson Bell. Note that they're not the full art cool black and white art. These may have a little bit more value since they probably aren't as plentiful as the ones found in the packs. All right, set booster packs uh, with the two Teach You How to Play Magic cards. There is the Awesome Collector Booster. Set that off kind of to the side. Take a look at that later. What I'm here for is to crack these packs and hopefully get something great. So I'll set the regular packs up off to this side over here. The Collector Booster up here. All right, let's get into cracking these packs. I have done a few drafts with Crimson Bow. I'm liking it quite a bit. I also like Midnight Hunt. Okay, the art card looks like, I think that is the planes. OK, 
Okay, so we'll put the art card there. All right, Swamp. The Swamp full arts have quite a bit more value than some of the regular cards. Hungry Ridge Wolf, Snarling Wolf, Sure Strike, Wolf Strike, so wolf theme cards. Wandering Mind, Magma Pummeler, a couple of uncommons. Flip card, Binding Geist, turns into Spectral Binding. Okay, it's common. Oakshade Stalker becomes Moonlit Ambusher. And then the Showcase card. I like the Showcase art quite a bit more in Crimson Vow than I did with uh, Midnight Hunt is Gluttonous Guest. All right, and I love rare lands. Crimson Vow is gonna have the enemy cycle of these. This one is Dream Root Cascade. Taps for a green or a blue, and it enters tapped unless you control two or more other lands. And a Foil Grizzly Ritual. Oh, what's this? And the list card, Abrupt Decay. I have wanted a playset of Abrupt Decay for a long time. Never pulled it in any Return of Ravnica packs, and I opened it a lot. Cool to get in the list. It's going to have a little bit of value, so we'll put the value card right there along with the Dream Root Castle. And let's see, foils. I'll put foils right there. Kind of like that, and then if I get a cool mythic, I'll put it to the side. Or maybe I'll put the cool mythic in the middle. Eh, not sure. Do something like that. I'm kind of... A little anal retentive when it comes to my piles so I guess I'll have to hold true and keep my piles straight all right let's get into the second pack too much talking gotta be tracking these packs all right art card of witness the future okay I don't know what I think about the art cards um, they're cool if they had actual signatures instead of gold stamped, I think they'd be way better. Foil Mountain, that may have a little bit of value. In fact, I want to check out the value of Abrupt Decay. See if I can get it to scan up on my scanner. So Abrupt Decay from the list is around four and a half dollars. That's pretty cool. Yeah, while well, I'm scanning things, might as well scan Dream Root Castle and see what that comes up to. Six dollars. So that first pack was about an eleven dollar pack. Not too bad for a set booster. All right, let's get into it. Persistent Specimen, Mind Leech Ghoul, Doom Dissenter, Diagraph Scavenger. Put those in the common pile. And Wash Away, probably the most valuable uncommon. I wonder what it is right now. $1.33. These are all market prices from TCG Player. I don't do mid or high. Market seems to be about the fair value that you could get for the card. All right, Storm Chaser Drake. Uh, Blood Petal Celebrant is a showcase card. Another showcase card of Belligerent Guest. All right, one of the Crimson Val Commander cards, Imperious Mindbreaker. I don't know if this has much value. I doubt it. Most of the Commander cards don't hold value. I'll put that on top of the list pile. And then Cadil the Dawnheart Martyr. I think this is my third copy of this card. Um, I've been able to get it in draft, I think, twice. All right, and then a foil rare. Alchemist Gambit. So I'll stick that in the foil pile. Like my piles got all out of order. So I'll put it back into order here. Uh, I don't know what to think about these double face checklist cards. Most people play as sleeves, so I don't see the value. Waste of paper. All right, we get moving along here a little bit quicker. I could have a day-night token to help keep track of when it's day or night. Well, I think I spoiled the rare. Uh, the art card is Hallowed Haunting. Okay. And then a mountain. Lightning Wolf. 
Hungry Ridge Wolf, Snarling Wolf. Hmm, we've seen this sequence before. Sure Strike. Witness the Future. Thirst for Discovery. Twin Blade Geist transforms into Twin Blade Invocation. Unholy Efficient is the showcase card. Oh, look at that. Imperious Mindbreaker. Hmm. Two packs in a row. Now, if that's a $30 card, I'd be pretty happy with that. Wedding Announcement is the rare, and flip it on the backside, Wedding Festivity. And then a Foil Still Clad Spirit with the Day-Night Token. All right, I won't uh, read every one of the cards. Move through this a little bit more quickly. I hate in the set boosters how this fools you to think you have a list card. Most of the time, it's one of your double face checklist cards. All right, I think this is by invitation only. Talked about that earlier in the video. An island. Gift of things. Yeah, that's weird. Searched pack. Okay, put those in the common pile. Into the night, Lantern of the Lost. Transform card is Kindly Ancestor into Ancestor's Embrace. Belligerent Geist, I think, what is this? In three, four packs, my third copy of it. It's the biggest drawback to the set booster packs is with the showcase cards, you get so many duplicates. All right, and the rare is Path of Peril. Nothing to write home about. Foiled Daybreak Combatants. Oh, it was a list card. Animate Dead. That might have a little bit of value to it. Okay, get moving along. Maybe at a little quicker pace. Tell me in the comment section, what was your favorite Christmas gift as a kid growing up? So... Art card of Blood Crazed Socialite, a mountain, look through the commons, anything, bad boy gaming, busted card, evolving wilds. I had a blast with this card in draft. I was also able to get the bride's gown and every game that I was able to get both of these Equipments onto the battlefield, Groom's Finery and, and Bride's Gown won the game. Unbelievable combo. Oh, look at that in the pack, both of them. Okay, Weary transforms into Wrathful Jailbreaker. Oh, look who it is, our friend Belligerent Guest. At the end, I'm going to have to count up how many I have of these. Okay, Mythic Strephon Morrow Progenitor. I think this is a legendary creature in the Crimson Vow deck. See if that has any value. And by invitation only. Interesting. Previous pack, we got the art card of this. Wow. Mythic Cemetery Illuminator. Oh, it's got like a print rolling right there. I wonder what the value is on that. I'm going to look that up real quick. So it's about a $4, $4.50 Mythic foil. Traveling Minister. Mountain. Move through the commons. Seeing a lot of the same uncommons. Another showcase of Unholy Efficient. Hopeful Initiate. Another fun card to play in draft. Transform foil card, Bioloom Egg. Transforms into Bioloom Serpent. Oh, and a human token. I think that's only my second token so far. Estwald Shield Basher, Swamp. Oh, look, it's the similar pattern we've seen before Lightning Wolf, Hungry Ridge Wolf, Starling Wolf, Sure Strike. Oh, 
another Vulgarian Epicure. Um, that's no good to get doubles of a rare and a bundle. Wedding announcement turns into wedding festivity. Although I don't mind because that is a card that I want to have a play set of. Foil Sanctify. And from the list, Signpost Scarecrow, which is from Throne of Eldraine and was in Standard just a few months ago. I don't understand why the list has commons and uncommons. It really should be comprised of rares and mythic rares. Okay, final set booster, and then we'll go to the collector booster. Okay, I think this is the Regent Mythic Dragon. Nope, Maniform Hellkite. That is a mythic. I don't know why I thought Regent. A Forest. Go through the commons. Lantern of the Lost. Lunar Rejection. Lamb. Holt Racketeer into Lamb Holt Ravager. Hookhand Mariner. Wedding Security. At least a different look at um, some of the showcase cards. Lantern Flare. Chill of the Grave is the foil. And a zombie token. Out of the rares, before I hop into the collector booster. I want to see how many of these, are, I think most of the ones that I got are white. Look at that. Now that is odd. Out of all the rares, they are white except for the Dreamroot Castle in pack one. Crazy. Okay. For all the marbles, all the money, collector booster. I think uh, the value of what I've opened so far hasn't been great. So let's see if this collector booster can make up the difference. All right. See, I'm not sure, how do we start? This way? Okay. So the first few are gonna be common foils. Pyre Spawn, Bramble Armor, the card that was just printed in Midnight Hunt. Don't know why we needed another version of it in Crimson Vow. Pointed Discussion. Griff Rider. Fun card in a white-red aggressive deck. Uncommons Cloaked Cadet. In a white-green human deck. This does a ton of work. Thirst for Discovery. Foil Forest. I don't know if I'm going to hit value town. This isn't a good sign. Path of Peril. Doesn't have much in the way of value. Timon, Youthful Geist, out of Commander. Dream Shackle Geist, I like spirits. I have a couple of different white-blue spirit decks in Modern and Pioneer. Oh, look, it's our friend Voldaren Epicure. Uh, one of the Dracula cards. Only problem is it's one of the uncommon, so it has little, if any, value. Van Helsing's Holy Ward. And Circle of Confinement is the regular name. Welcoming Vampire. Now, I love this card. This card was a blast to play in draft, and I want a play set of it. I want to have a Mardu Vampire deck in standard. Um, oh, gee, who could it be other than Belligerent Guest? And then Edgar, Charmed Groom. So Dracula the Voyager. Foil, Full Art. And he transforms into... Casket of Native Earth, or Edgar's Markov Coffin. This card is a blast to play in draft. Absolute fun. Can get out of control pretty quick. And then a foil zombie token with a vampire on the backside. All right, before I end the video, I am just curious to see how many of these belligerent guests I got. I might as well count the foil. So there's one, at least. Seemed like I was getting one in every pack. There's two, three, four. So counting the foil out of the collector booster, I got a play set. That's not very good. Anyway, a lot of fun opening up the 
gift bundle from Innistrad Crimson Vow. I don't think value-wise I even got close to what I would have spent on it. I received it as a Christmas gift. My wife got it for me, so she probably paid around 45, 50 bucks. There's no way I got that much in value here, but still fun to crack it open. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comments section what you thought about my gift bundle from Innistrad Crimson Vow. Until next time, when I'm back to crack some more Magic the Gathering packs.